today we're going to talk about the difference between a professional and an amateur trader. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. G'day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Just at the uh, Perth Ice Arena, my boys are uh, out having an ice hockey practice uh, early on a Saturday morning. Uh, Non-farm payrolls last night, and um, I uh, lost my internet connection. And so uh, they've told me they can't come until Monday, but I think I'm going to get a new uh, modem and router. But just a reminder that you need to be prepared for all contingencies, especially with uh, power outages and, and uh, possible uh, broadband or um, internet failures all, this, all, the, all the time. And, and one of the biggest things I always remind myself of is that, that that can happen at any time. And so whenever you enter into the market, just a reminder to always have a stop loss in place. Now, luckily, I wasn't even in the market at all. And it was a few hours uh, before payrolls anyways, but I just um, didn't even get a chance to see what happened until this morning. But today talking about the difference between a professional and an, and an amateur trader. Um, you know, and often the biggest case, the difference is not in, in the methodology between an amateur and a professional, not even in their knowledge about, about the markets, but it's often in their ability to actually stick to their trading plan and execute their trading plan. Professional traders will often uh, are, are, are in the mindset of preservation of capital. And so in doing so, they, they have no problem in just hitting every trade and executing their stop loss and taking the losses and, and going on to the next trade and not being attached to the outcomes of every individual trade. Uh, the amateur trader, the retail amateur trader, the non-professional retail trader, but the amateur retail trader hinges on the outcome of every individual trade. Um, often, perhaps even, you know, they're trading with a smaller account, but they're trying to make unrealistic gains or returns on that small account on every single trade. Uh, the professional, he's he's or she has been patient and hone that skill over time, probably going through uh, very challenging times uh, until they really switch their mindset from trying to win and be right on every trade to actually executing their trading plan and taking small losses and then also learning to manage and, and execute a winning trade properly to extract as much as they can out of a winning trade. So it's not often the methodology. It's not even the knowledge of the markets. Uh, you can know very little about the markets and often that might, might even be a benefit. Uh, but it's the understanding of knowing to follow your plan. It's the understanding of, of how to use pos proper position sizing and money management until you've honed those skills and you can you know, ad adjust your position sizing accordingly uh, as opposed to just going into the market and, and trying to go in every day or a few times a week, whatever it is that you're trading and trying to make money, quick money, fast money, uh, in order to make a return on your account or to make some money that you can replace your income with or whatever else. So it's that realization you know, of, of turning trading into a business, but also understanding that taking losses consistently and taking losses at, at that earliest indication according to your trading style of where your trade is wrong, um, being able to take that loss and then go on to the next trade without it letting interrupt your psychology in order to, to execute your trading plan consistently when the next signal comes up. So, you know, go back, go through your, your trading methodology, whatever time frame that is. You know, I talk about end of day. Um, you know, I still like the hourly systems. I, you know, I'm working on some stuff right now. I, I, I just know that um, that's going to be part of my psyche, but, but that all starts with my end of day trading model. Uh, but the biggest realization I can pass on to you, which is a daily battle for anybody, you know, Victor Niederhofer, 
uh, if you've read his story, I mean, even as a professional, successful professional trader, you're never uh, away, f- you know, you're always one trade away, as Peter Brandt says, from, from blowing up your account or from doing significant damage. And it's imperative that you just get into your mindset of taking the trades, um, you know, allocating a certain a position size to that trade, understanding that that trade is most likely going to be a loser, and then being okay with that amount but then going on to the next trade uh, and then executing your trading plan flawlessly and hitting those trades. Um, And cutting your losses is the key element that will ensure your long-term success. And that's the biggest difference between a professional and an amateur retail trader is the professional knows when to take his loss and go on to the next trade. He also knows or she also knows uh, they may also have an awareness of how to pad into a winning trade when the market's exploding and move in their direction. Uh, They're patient, they're willing to sit on the sidelines and wait until their best trade setups present. And sometimes that can take two or three days, four days, whatever, to set up during the trading week. Um, So uh, be patient, be willing to take your losses, know your methodology inside and out, keep it simple, focus on two or three of your best trade setups, you know, be willing to lose and try to learn from every single trade. You know, approach it with a mindset of, of constant improvement. Practice, practice, practice. Get better every single day. Don't blow your trading account up. And stay disciplined, stay focused, stay in it for the long term. And those are the biggest differences between the professional and the retail, sorry, the professional and the amateur retail traders that the amateur wants it today. The professional is willing to put in the time and the work and be consistent to hit every single trade take their losses and focus on having a positive expectancy in the market and keep getting better. Stay disciplined, enjoy your weekend, and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.